Today on the channel, we're back to the DC Multiverse with McFarlane Toys mega figure, Calabac. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another DC Multiverse unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a mega figure, we've got Calabac. But for all your McFarlane toy needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items and anything over $59 does ship free. And this is one of those ones I was going to play the long game on, but then I saw him in store and I said, uh... It got me. Um, there's nothing else going on. There's no real other figures going on. Very cool. Saw it. Big figure. I'm a sucker at the end of the day, long story short. So I did pick this one up. And of course, on the channel, we're going to do this like we do all the other reviews here. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We'll do some comparisons as well. So let's check out Calabac, the big, brooding, big, massive mega figure here. Looks like a guy that would fit in with a Thor universe as well. So a little crossover action if you need to. But cool packaging. Got that blue background. Got some accessories. Got the card. Got his name down low. Calabac, it says the Dark Side War. And of course, he is the son of Dark Side, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've seen anything with him. I primarily remember him from uh, being a really, really little kid watching him in Super Friends, of course. Feuding with the Justice League. Feuding with Superman. All kinds of stuff there. There he is looking good on the back of the package. I don't think there's a blurb of any kind back here. 22 moving parts of articulation. But we're going to pull him out of the old plastic prison. Uh-oh. He's taped in on the side. we got to cut him out. There it goes. Get that going. Let's pull it out. Oh, big, heavy, brooding figure. He feels almost too big to me. I don't know. You guys tell me. See you later. Off to the side. Obviously, he's a big, big, giant figure, but he feels almost too big. Is that possible? Uh, am I picking up what I'm putting down? Does that make sense either? I don't know. But he's clipped in, too, so they got him really locked in here. Oh, what's going on there? There's the old paper. See you later. Get out of here. Twist tie. See you later. Get out of here. Got all kinds of stuff going on with this guy here. He is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, got him. Held on to it. That's how you do it. You don't want to lose the ball. Uh, but we're going to pull his card out, see what's going on. We're going to read the back. Ah, rookie. See you later. There's the card. Can I get the stand out? Stand always fighting me. Always fighting to get the stand. There we go. I got it. Like a true professional. Cardboard. See you later. Get out of here. We got the DC stand. We've seen him a million times. Let's read this card first before we get too deep into things here. Let's see what it says about our old friend Calabac from the Dark Side War. Our real name, Calabac. Brutal and pitless. Pitiless. Pitiless. Calabac is the eldest son of Darkseid, there you go, Lord of Apocalypse. He is devoted to his sire and relentless foe of Orion, the son Darkseid allowed to be raised on New Genesis. When Darkseid was incapacitated, Calabac took command, readying the Chaos Cannon, powered by a Chaos Shard in the body of Batman's son Damien, to destroy inhabited planets and channel their energies back to Apocalypse. Uh, so very uh, wordy there, but we do get that. We do get a little a sayings there. What's going on with him? Big plastic prison. He's locked in like a big figure should be. You don't want him going anywhere, that is for sure. Cut him out at the legs. See you later. How about one arm? See you later. Goodbye. Lucky that garbage is right there. Twist tie city right here today. See you later. Goodbye. And one more on the leg, I guess. Missed one. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Can we get him out? Can we get him out? Jeez. It's like a, it's a job in itself getting him out of the package. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. There we go. We got his bit. Oh, my gosh. And his weapon's even locked in. What are we doing here? The frustratingness of an unboxing. But we got it. We're getting it. We're going for it. There it goes. See you later. Twist tie. See you later. Goodbye. What a mess I'm dealing with here. Goodbye. And we're off to the races. Let's start with the accessory first, as we usually do. We got this big old club here. A brutal weapon from a big brutal dude. Puts his hand in here. He's got the knuckle duster on the front to stab some people, tear people up. And then he's got the big handle at the top he just club you over the head with. A brutal, brutal weapon here. All one color in gold. I guess it matches uh, his outfit, so we do have that going on. But a big weapon here. First time in the line for this weapon as well. Now we get Kyle back on his own here. And like I said, a big brooding figure. 
Kind of reminds me of Clayface a little bit, as we have mega figures from DC in a lot of different lines. Some are tall and skinny, some are short and chunky. He's in the more short, chunky variety here. Uh, looking good, looking like a mean old troll. That's why I said he feels like he could almost fit into the Thor universe if you really wanted to be creative and do that. Uh, but he's got the green and gold colors going on. I don't care where you live. If you live in Oakland, California, you live in Des Moines, Iowa, St. Louis, Missouri, you live in Apocalypse, you're rooting on the Oakland A's, especially back in 88, 89, 90, all the glory years, or the late 70s, or the 60s, all the A's years. Uh, and uh, he does that as well. Calabac looking like an A's fan here. Happy to see it. Welcome him on the team for sure. But looking good, and we'll start with this head. He's got the big beard going on, the two tusk teeth. He's got a nose ring, very fashionable. Uh, he's got yellow eyes, he's got his mask on, and then he's got a big beard and hair all over the place. Just a mean, menacing dude you don't want to mess with. Really do like the head sculpt on this guy. Almost kind of has a monkey vibe, or I should say a gorilla vibe. Not to uh, offend any of these uh, primates out there, but more gorilla with the big upper torso and kind of shorter legs. That's kind of how he has that vibe to him a little bit there. But looking good, got all his armor, almost like a Roman gladiator type armor going on. Got the bandolier sash over the top. Got the Roman gladiator kind of shoulder gauntlet with the little things going there. Looking good, and then all the nice sculpting around, a nice belt. He's got a loincloth in front. You always got to protect the junk. I don't care what you're doing. He's got to protect things there. Got two gloved hands. He's got some buckles and braces on his forearms. Got an interesting skin, kind of uh, damaged and beat up. I mean, this is a guy that's been through the battles, as we do know. Happy to report he does have a fist of fury. Love to see that. And then, of course, you got a gripping hand here for the weapon. I could co-sign that all day long. Looking really nice. Got boots on, and he's got two toes. So he's a two-toed creature down there at the bottom. Articulation, you get movement out of the head, of course. Arms go all the way around. Uh, Single-jointed elbow, a little bit tight there at first. Hands back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation. Got a little bit of movement out of these legs. He can do those big old calabac splits if he needs to. You do get the bend at the knee, super, super tight, super tight knees. And then ankles back and forth, side to side. And then you got the toe articulation on him as well. Looking really good. You also got the side to side at the elbows. I forgot to mention that. Does feel a little bit uh, heavy in spots, but like the arms feel very hollow. So very light arms here. Obviously, that's a way to save some money. Uh, he does come with the DC stand. Most likely, once you get him settled, you're not going to really need those stands. He does got some interesting big, heavy feet. It takes a little muscle to move this guy around, that is for sure. Uh, but we do have him there, and he stands just fine on his own. But a big, brooding guy. I don't know. To me, he feels a little bit taller than he's supposed to be. Maybe I'm wrong at that. Obviously, I'm not as super familiar with this character. I remember Darkseid being a lot bigger than him, but that was Superpowers uh, era. Uh, a lot of times, you know, these guys have different heights and weights and things over the years. And depends who the artist is, drawing them different sizes. So I remember more to that old one than this one. This still does ring a bell to me but maybe not as much. But a cool multi-use figure I think you could uh, put into different toy lines if you really wanted to with him. Uh, just a very, very good looking figure. Compare him to some other giant figures as well, or mega figures, I should say. We unboxed Mongol not too long ago on the channel. So you can see, well, that's what I was talking about. Some of the skinnier ones kind of reminds me of that. Of course, the OG, probably the best mega figure ever right here, Swamp Thing. This is actually the GameStop edition of Swamp Thing. Uh, always very cool. He's got the antlers. That's how you know the difference between the two. Do have a Superman hanging out here. I guess that's who I'm going to have him paired off probably with on my Superman shelf. I really do need a McFarlane dark side figure. I wasn't really over the moon with the one they did release. I probably should have picked it up as it is long gone from stores right now. Uh, but I'm hoping they come out with a more classic version. I don't know. It's got to be in the cards somewhere. There's got to be a day where they're going to give us the Super Friends. And I think the Adam West Batman, I got to think there's a day they'll get folded into the multiverse here from DC and McFarlane will do them in these scales. I hope that is the case. I hope we do see that one day. But a very, very cool looking figure. Uh, big and chunky and beefy on top. A little bit shorter in the leg department. Just a very interesting look. But a figure that definitely stands out. Especially in his Oakland A's colors. You guys know I'm here for that as well. But a good mega figure. Just starting to hit stores now. Uh, obviously Entertainment Earth will have that shortly. Wait for it to go hot off the truck. Wait for it to be in stock. Save 10% right off the get-go. That is the way to do things. You guys know how I do it. You got to get a deal out there. And at least I did at GameStop. I used some uh, reward points there to get a little bit of a deal on this guy. So I felt a little better about myself. 
But a good figure, I can co-sign on this one. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? What are your thoughts on Calabac? Picking him up? Playing the long game? Passing? Not sure? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day. And then some. Yes, and then some. And we got even more content for you, including early access to videos like this over there on uh, Patreon, as you guys know by now. And ProWrestlingTees.com. You can support the channel over there as well as Patreon. And don't forget to hit me up and follow along on social media. SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. For Calabac, I'm Calakyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.